Hello everyone and welcome to IntelliPad. In this video, you will learn about the in-demand service of AWS, which is the Amazon API Gateway. First, we will understand what an application programming interface is. Then we'll move on to the types of API. And then we'll talk about the Amazon API Gateway and its needs and use cases. And finally, we will see about the pricing of API Gateway. But before we begin, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates. Now let us move on to the first topic. What is an API? The formal definition for an API goes something like this. An API is a set of definitions and protocols for building and integrating application software. API stands for Application Programming Interface. But in simple terms, it is an intermediary between two applications that allows them to communicate with each other. Each time you are using a web browser, you are calling an API that helps you interact with a server where the page that you want resides. Another real-time example is delivery services that have their own app. Inside that app, they use Google Maps API to pull out a current delivery status for a delivery. Any website where you make payments at the end includes several payment options like pay through PayPal or pay through Google Pay, etc. The website here uses PayPal's API and allows its users to pay through the application that is PayPal. Now moving on to the next topic, types of API. The following are the different types of APIs. First we have HTTP API. It is an application programming interface for a web server or a web browser. It is related to web development, usually limited to a web application's client side. It may be public or private. Private HTTP APIs require something called as an access token. Now coming to REST API, it stands for Representational State Transfer API. Not all HTTP APIs are necessarily REST APIs. These two follow a relation which can be described as a REST API is an HTTP API, but not all HTTP APIs are REST APIs. REST APIs are flexible when compared to HTTP APIs. Here the data is not tied to methods and resources and hence these types of data are able to handle multiple types of calls and return different data formats. Now moving on to WebSocket API. This API allows you to create web sockets which is capable of bi-directional full duplex communication over a persistent TCP connection. This API is written in JavaScript. These are used to build real-time two-way communication applications such as chat apps and streaming dashboards. Now let us move on to the next topic. What exactly is an API gateway? Now an API gateway is like an API management tool that is essentially a computer software uh, that sits between a client and a collection of backend services. It is a single entry point for all the backend APIs and microservices. An API is useless unless it is delivered with consistency. Hence, the API Gateway is built to provide security, scalability, and high availability. To sum it up, the API Gateway takes all the API requests from the client, gauges which services are really required, and combines them into a seamless experience for the user. Some of the top API Gateways are RPG, MuleSoft, Axeway, and 3Scale. Now that we have a rough understanding of what an API gateway is, uh, now let us move on to the next topic, which is what is Amazon API gateway? As we all know, Amazon Web Services is the world's leading cloud provider and Amazon also provides its own variant of an API gateway. AWS API gateway is an AWS service for creating, publishing, maintaining, monitoring REST APIs. It also monitors HTTP and WebSocket APIs as well. API developers can create APIs that access AWS or other web services as well as data stored in the AWS cloud. As an API Gateway API developer, you can create APIs for use in your own client applications. Now let us understand the working of Amazon API Gateway. Typically in all architecture that you see with a Lambda function, right before the Lambda function where the working code is deployed, you would use an API gateway. So why should you request through an Amazon API gateway? Let us understand about it. Most applications today are built around REST APIs. So you have the get, post, put, delete requests. You make an API call and get your things done. 
However, the management of the REST APIs is not that easy. You may have to take care of authentication and authorization. You may have to set limits like rating limits, quotas, etc. for your API consumers. You may have to take care of implementing multiple versions of your API. You would also need to monitor your API calls. To improve your performance, you would also want to cache your API requests. So, how would you maintain and manage all of these features? How about a fully managed service with AWS auto scaling that acts as an abstract layer to your APIs? This is how the Amazon API works. It works as an abstract layer that takes care of all your APIs. Now, let us move on to the next topic. Uh, what is the need for Amazon API Gateway? In enterprises that follow DevOps methodologies, what developers usually do is use the already existing microservices to build and deploy apps in a fast-paced, iterative way. These microservices use APIs to communicate with the app. And when this application uses many microservices, many APIs are used for communication between the app and microservices. Managing all these APIs becomes a hassle. This is where the AWS API Gateway comes into the picture. Now let us see some of the use cases of API Gateway. First we have uh, Vogue. Vogue is a famous fashion and lifestyle magazine. One of its websites, Photo Vogue, uses the Amazon API Gateway. Photo Vogue is a photography website that allows users to upload photos on their site with the chance of being picked up by photographers' agencies. Every picture that gets uploaded will be carefully reviewed by the editorial team to ensure the highest quality images possible. And the next use case we have is uh, Fox Network. We all know that uh, Fox Network has Fox Now and it is a very well organized uh, television network. Fox Digital Consumers Group is a team within Fox Network that handles the streaming of digital content to consumers via the web via mobile and set-top devices. It uses containerized microservices running on AWS to host the website as well as deliver FoxNow. Now, uh, moving on to the last topic of this video, AWS API Gateway Pricing. You only pay for Amazon API Gateway services only when your APIs are in use. You don't need to pay minimum fees or upfront payments. The free tier for the Amazon API Gateway service includes 1 million HTTP requests, 1 million REST API calls, 1 million messages and 750,000 connections per minute and you would get this per month for up to 12 months. Now let me conclude this video. We have learned that if an application is handling many APIs, we need to use a service that enables us to take care of issues that arise from handling many APIs at once. This is where the Amazon API Gateway comes in handy. Since this service is used by enterprises like FoxNow and Vogue, it establishes the fact that it is a very reliable service. It is also a cost-effective solution to many app problems as the cost for 1 million requests is as low as $1. Lastly, when we use the Amazon API Gateway along with other AWS services, like AWS Lambda and AWS Elastic Containerized Services, the application gives a smooth user experience. That is it from my side guys. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Just a quick info guys. If you want to make a career in cloud computing, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification on cloud and DevOps by IIT Madras. This course is taught by industry experts and IIT Madras faculty. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.